Hello everybody, I'm Larissa. Hi everyone, I'm Darren. And we are from the Life Trekkers vlog, and we are here because the great folks over at FNDLifeWithoutLimits.com have been uh, focusing this month, February, on self-care. And so we have been kind of thinking about what does that look like for us? What is self-care? I think that lack of self-care was a huge part of what led up to my FND crash because I did a terrible job of taking care of myself um, and paying attention to the warning signs of, of what we need as human beings to be cared for. Mm. So I think that Darren is like the king of success when it comes to self-care, um, almost to the point of being annoying to me because I'm like, you're so disciplined and you're so on it and I'm so not, you know? So what would you say is your number one way of practicing self-care? Hmm. I first want to say, um, I don't think you should blame yourself, uh, for, you know, not being, you know, to the point where you want to be at self-care or blame your, your FND crash on that. I think that, you know, these things are complicated and complex and, and, uh, there's sometimes I think there's probably no way to know for folks, you know, how these things kind of come about other than that they do. And there may be variables and factors, but, um, you know, we, we know that, uh, regardless, you know, we got to kind of press on and, and, uh, self-care is important and, um, how that looks for each of us is probably a little different, but for me, I, um, I stretch and, uh, I like to, um, get fresh air, just simple things, you know, um, I'm not able to do certain things a whole lot either because of my health and having a movement disorder. So there are certain things that I would love to do, but I'm just not really able to, get out there and do so I struggle with that I struggle with seeing other more able-bodied people doing things and thinking I could do that too but um, you know I've tried to learn how to enjoy doing what I can and uh, and I find stretching to be really relaxing um, and um, challenging as well and uh, there's always kind of more to learn and uh, um, you know, mindfulness type things can be helpful, uh, you know, and there's a lot of different things out there on that. So I don't have any real super deep knowledge of that, but I know that that can be a, a positive thing that, that I've used a bit here and there, um, just to kind of help stay centered and calm. And, um, yeah, I'm just kind of trying to, you know, be flexible and stick with things. That's exactly what I was just going to say. Um, for instance, like today I had a day, um, a quiet day where I could rest and um, my version of self-care was pretty much sleeping on this couch all day long and and like letting my body just recoup and get, catch some Z's and um, sometimes it's really hard to allow yourself to practice that kind of self-care when there's glaring things like laundry or housework or errands or doing the bills like other things that are also self-care um, are there and so I think that being flexible with going with the flow and and being willing to be flexible with your self-care and being at peace with that how it can shift from day to day is is a really great way to be about things because I could have easily just been on my own case about needing that rest but sometimes we can't plan for what we need um, in advance and we have to kind of go with the flow but I would say ways that I practice self-care would be um, trying to listen to my body and rest when I need to regardless of the to-do list I think that I I've been very much to-do list driven and um, so being able to know when to say no to that is a big part of my self-care and then I love things like listening to music um, I do really like, um, makeup and doing my nails or things like that, where I just take time and do things that help me. I guess I think of it this way. I try to do things that help build into my life or increase my quality of life. And sometimes that's cleaning the kitchen. That's doing something like a boring version of self-care as if you haven't followed them on Instagram Instagram it's another um, the life without limits page it's great because there's been beautiful artwork this week of kind of boring self-care things and it's like oh yeah paying the bills and taking out the garbage because 
when we do those things, I think that they increase our mental happiness because they're getting done and we're feeling accomplished and those versions of self-care um, are important too. Absolutely. So. And I think one of the things that, that you can integrate into doing the more, I like that, the boring self-care things. So there's boring self-care things and there's things that are fun self-care. Like flossing your teeth. Yeah. And, and yeah, and sometimes the routines in life just get absurd and old and, and I get it. However, I think sometimes mindfulness type things can help with, you know, taking down the stress levels when you have to go and do something like go shopping and go to the store. I found that there's been times I've gone shopping and I've been so resistant to the idea and stressed about it that when I'm there, it just makes it even worse than it already is. And, and I've had a couple other times where I've been able to be successful. It's not every time, but that I've actually been able to go in and go shopping and it's crowded and I'm Ooh. just, I just kind of go through my, my list and I find satisfaction in what I'm doing. I try to look for things that I enjoy, maybe stop at the magazines, check out a magazine or something. You've been packing like a little lunch bag with snacks and emergency type things when you go out and about too. And I think that's a really excellent self-care to yeah. be prepared. Absolutely. And the, and the kind of point behind that is, is maybe you're out and about and you're doing some of these other errands and things you got to do in life and you know, your, your blood sugar drops a little bit low or you're, you're feeling uh, shaky. Yeah. Feeling shaky. You're feeling, you know, maybe just like you need a little boost and, you know, taking some things with you that, you know, that help you with that, you know, a snack or maybe even a treat that's, that's, you know, reasonably healthy. That's going to kind of help you along and not just cause you to crash even worse. Um, that those can be useful things. And, uh, so it's going to be unique for each person. We're not going to succeed every single time. But, you know, if you can get some little little successes in there when you're going out and, and taking care of things, that can help a lot. Um, there's other areas I still struggle with uh, more than, than others. But, um, you know, it's just, you know, one moment at a time, one, one, one thing at a time. And, uh, you know, if you kind of increase these little practices into your daily routines, I think that we can, you know, find ourselves maybe a little bit more satisfied, maybe a little bit more rested. Uh, with the things that we face each day. I just started working after like eight years of not working and having had FND for two plus years now, um, I'm kind of in a good cycle of doing really well. And so I've taken the opportunity to get a job. And I mentioned that because one thing I'm working on putting together is like a self-care kit, travel kit. And so that's going to be like muscle creams and extra medication and potentially like hand warmers if it's really cold at work which happens a lot and which is not good for my FND and um, snacks and an extra pair of clothes in case well my work might have issues with that but just various things you guys know your own self but I think it's great to like kind of have that when we have to go out of our comfort zone yeah. because it gives us more peace of mind like Absolutely. hey I have the things that I need you know I've got a cane in the trunk you know I've got various things available to me or maybe you need an extra jacket and you're not going to need it but you know later in the day you might need it and it's nice to have it when the time comes up and, you, and you're cold and so you know just little things sometimes can go a long ways in making your um your walk your journey a little bit more pleasant uh, a little bit more comfortable and hopefully a little bit more uh fun even in the things that are, are kind of routine I think that one area I need to improve on self-care would be like some sort of movement routine which is kind of funny because we have problems with movement, but I just mean more like some basic form of stretching or dancing or something that gets my body moving um, on a regular basis um, is kind of my, I think that's my one thing that I'm going to try to work on incorporating into my life in my personal self-care. How about you? Anything that you think of that you're going to try to incorporate more of or more regularly? In your self-care? Tea is totally on my self-care list, too, by the way. Like, there you top go. of the charts. Yeah, I like it tea. It makes me happy. In fact, let's have tea after this. All right. I okay. like tea as well. Okay, I interrupted and, you. Or and, interrupted me. And, um, yeah, um, I think, uh, you know, I think a lot of self-care, sometimes it's the physical stuff, but I think sometimes it's the really the mental and emotional stuff. And that that can be challenging. And, and um, I, I could, uh, you know, use more work in some of those areas at times. And, and uh, again... Some of those things that we talked about already, you know, like, you know, trying to enjoy things that aren't enjoyable and, and being mindful of things and finding moments of uh, peace and things that may not always be the most uh, awesome or pleasant can go a long ways in kind of shifting our focus, um, shifting our awareness, because uh, sometimes we get stuck in these certain kinds of uh, thoughts and, and that can make the task at hand even more 
challenging. And so I'm working on things like that. Um, I think that's honestly something we all probably uh, have and probably will for a long time, but um, those things are, are beneficial. Well, I think that's all we have to say about that. Yeah. So if you haven't already, please go check out um, FND. Oh, no, we're getting messages. FND, lifewithoutlimits.com. And they have a Facebook presence and also on Instagram. And if you haven't, do subscribe to our channel, The Life Trekkers, on YouTube. And we also are um, on Instagram under the Larry Andy and on Facebook as well. So it's been nice chatting with you. And we hope that you too are working on your self-care because... There is nothing more important than taking care of ourselves, especially under the circumstances. So Absolutely. All right. People are out there that, that love and care for, for us and uh, want to see, see us do as well as, as possible. And so we wish you much success and uh, wellness in, in your journey. And, um, and uh, we hope this has maybe been of a small help. Yes. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.